Mmm. Mmm. Let's start. Hello everyone who's watching me from real or virtual world. Speaking of latter, VR as a virtual reality has been a big topic in the last couple of years. Some people love it, some people hate it, some people don't even believe it's ever going to be a mainstream. Reality is, VR has been exponentially growing, which means it definitely deserves attention. But let me look at VR from a different perspective. A lot of people think of VR as just a gaming platform, which is not a surprise because you can find hundreds of thousands of videos on YouTube with gameplays and game reviews. But I am not a gamer whatsoever, so is there a use of these glasses for someone like me? Oh boy, yes. So let me tell you more about Oculus Quest 2 and VR. Bring it on! Before I share my view about VR, let me talk you through about this headset specifically, about its features, benefits and disadvantages. If you know everything about Quest 2, just skip this part and move on to the next one. If you would like to buy one or learn more about it after watching this video, I will put the link in the description below. By the way, this is not going to be an affiliate link. I'm not getting any commission. This video is not sponsored by anyone but my wallet. So it's going to be a very honest review. So make sure you click that like button, subscribe to this channel. It makes a massive difference for me and it's not going to cost you anything. And you can always unsubscribe if any of my future videos will make you feel awkward or uncomfortable. So the biggest benefit of Oculus Quest 2 is the value for the price. In fact, Meta is making near to nothing in profits when selling these glasses. That's why they're so cheap and most used glasses right now. To be honest, there are no other companies who can do that because selling their glasses is their main source of income. Another major benefit is its portability. You don't need a PC or any other equipment to run it. So you can buy this fully standalone and one of the most powerful and smart VR headsets for just $2.99 dollars or pounds. I start noticing this conversion rate more and more nowadays and it makes me feel uncomfortable. So you get two displays per each eye, which are 1832 by 1920 pixels each which actually makes the quality of the image one of the best on the market. I'm not gonna lie, it's not the best one, but it's definitely one of the best. You get up to 120 Hz refresh rate, which not only makes movement smoother, but also reduces the risk of dizziness, which some people experience in VR. Okay, there is a bit of a caveat on refresh rate because it really depends on the application and other factors like better features enabled or on, but you will get at least 90 Hertz in most of the apps, which is, which is already pretty good. Then you get the inbuilt speakers, walkthrough view, which is actually very useful, guardian feature, virtual hands with gestures, and much more. Okay, okay. Enough of technical review. Again, I'll put the link in the description below so that you can go to the website and watch more about the specs of this headset. We are here to talk about the usage. So I have a brother who also lives in UK, but far from London. Sometimes we want to hang out, but for some reason, me or he can't come over. So what should we do? Now we can jump in the VR and have an in-person like experience where we can move in different worlds and have more like a real conversation where we see each other avatars in 3D, not on a flat screen. And that is much better and obviously much better than not meeting at all. We can even jump into a virtual cinema and watch a movie together that I can stream from Plex, for example, and still engage with each other, chat like we would do in real life. Isn't that cool? Oh. 
So I think VR definitely improves socializing, especially when you have friends or relatives who are far from you. And no, I don't think VR or social networks are killing in-person social gatherings. People mentality does. VR is a tool that can connect more when remote is the only option. Something changed, yes, I got my sports clothes on, so maybe it's time to talk about fitness in virtual reality. I believe fitness industry is gonna massively change in the near future because of VR. Now you can teleport into a virtual outdoor environment and have a workout with a personal assistant who will motivate you to burn those extra calories. There are multiple activities already now like yoga, dancing, boxing, intensive training and much more. And I think the opportunities are endless. But I'm sure you will have a question to me, do you really burn calories during a virtual workout? So instead of me talking about it, let me show you. Right, so let's give it a go. So let me actually, to measure the calories, um, I will turn on my Apple Watch. I'm gonna put it as a high intensity interval training. You can see it. Okay, ready, two, one, go. This session is actually gonna be interesting because I'm kind of still recovering from vaccine. So if I pass out on the floor, please, sorry. So as I mentioned before, there are multiple games that you can use uh, for your fitness. Uh, my favorite is the Fit VR. Actually, I forgot to put my phone off. And the good feature of this headset is the walkthrough view. So I can just walk and I will see what's outside so I can put my phone down. So, picking my profile. Welcome to your new home screen. Let's, Let's take a tour. Oh, there was some interesting updates since, since I joined last time. We're definitely gonna go for boxing because that's what I enjoy. So let's go with intermediate level because I am ready to rock. Uh, we'll go for the medium. It's gonna be like about 20 minutes, I think. Any music, any instructor, doesn't really matter. Let's go for 25 minutes. I think I can handle that. Ooh, which one, which studio should I pick? They have new ice rinks, but no, nah, I don't want to be on an ice rink while boxing, so let's pick an elevated park at night. Right, so the goal in this game is to basically hit, hit the balls. Let's get sweat. That was fun. Let me take a deep breath. My socks are wet. My gym shirt is wet. And let's see how many calories I've burnt. I hope you can see this. In 30 minutes, I've burned 500 calories. That's a lot for cardio training and I'm still burning them right now as we speak. I definitely feel that. Also, it's fun. You have the music. You get like a coach motivating you and inspiring you to burn those extra calories. And you only need like square meter because you're just standing and doing the workout. And you're burning a lot of calories. Still not convincing. Well, let's continue then. Ooh, okay, that was a nice workout. 
Right, so as I mentioned before, virtual reality is great for entertainment like watching movies. Yes, you can watch a movie on a TV. But first of all, not everyone has a big TV and not everyone has a good audio system or you just don't want to bother your neighbors in the evening while watching a loud action movie. So virtual reality really helps because you can teleport yourself into your personal cinema and watch a movie with your friends. Right, so let's talk about some serious business here. How about work? Working environment in virtual reality is now getting better and better because VR just got into this niche. But you can already build your own desks, have multiple monitors, run meetings, do whiteboarding sessions and even run conferences with like hundreds of people there. Now all these capabilities in a headset for less than $300 that's crazy. You get a TV, you get a sound system, you get a meeting and learning platform, working environment, and of course, place for gaming as well, if that's something you're interested in. I mean, that could cost you thousands of dollars, but you all get this in a, such a small piece of future. Speaking of tiny, by the way, I have tried virtual reality about four years ago when PlayStation VR was released. It was wired to PlayStation, so you could not use it without the actual gaming box. It was heavy, the, the image quality was really bad, it got me dizzy pretty fast, and the functionality was very, very limited. Quest 2 was released in 2020, and the progress is just unbelievable, and that's not the end. These headsets are definitely getting smaller, lighter, and smarter. We already opened the smart glasses market and that's going to expand and grow as well. By the way, if you want to learn about the first smart glasses released by Meta and Ray-Bans, check out my video somewhere here. Yeah, probably. So final thoughts, VR is definitely going to immerse and grow. It will create opportunities for creators to create, for people to connect and for our economy to grow as digital products create limitless opportunities and they're always going to have a smaller footprint on our environment which is really important as well so i hope you found this video useful and i managed to fire up your interest in virtual reality or you've just learned something new like this video if you did, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and you're interested in the new product on the market. Turn on the notifications on to make sure you don't miss out the new content. And if you have any questions about Quest 2 or virtual reality in general, leave them in the comment section below and I will make sure to reply to them. Right, enjoy whatever you're doing right now. Have a wonderful morning day, afternoon, evening or night and I'll see you in the next video or in virtual reality, who knows? Peace!